Hi everyone! I'm very excited to show you in this video Mac's upcoming Marilyn Monroe collection, which releases online at maccosmetics.com around September 27th and will release in stores on October 4th. As you can see, and as the name clearly states, this is a collection inspired by Marilyn Monroe. We have special edition packaging both on the boxes and on the products themselves. So we will see higher price points for the items in this collection. When it comes to actually new colors and new items, this collection is really quite small. There are a lot of items that are re-promoted or permanent in Max line that are technically included in this collection. But if you're looking at things that are actually new, um, those products are actually very few. As always, you can go to AllureBeauty.com. I have full reviews on each of the colors here, as well as photographs of all of the swatches for the colors. If after reading those reviews and watching this video you still have questions, I would be happy to answer them in the comment section below or on the blog. Alright, without further ado, let's look at these colors. First, I want to show you the box packaging, which has an image of Marilyn Monroe on it and her signature here. The shadows themselves also have the same image on the top, and these are large eye shadows, so they are the size of the Pro Longwear eye shadows, so they'll be significantly bigger than your regular MAC eyeshadow. So here are three of the new large eyeshadow shades. These are $21 each. I didn't for some reason receive Showgirl, so unfortunately I won't be able to show that color to you in this video but I have all of the rest of the new colors and we'll be showing those in this video. Here is How to Marry, Preferred Blonde, and Silver Screen. Here is How to Marry, which is a soft white. Now all of these are a Volux Pearl formula, so they will all have a high degree of shimmer to them. This color is really pigmented. It has a good formula. It's soft and goes on smoothly. Preferred Blonde is a pale champagne beige. So you can see that the powder is a little more dusty because it's so saturated with the shimmer, but the color payoff is wonderful and the formula is actually very, very impressive. Now, you can't tell very distinctly the difference between these two shades. This color has uh, ever so slightly more beige tone to it, and this is more white, but really if you're looking to save costs, then I wouldn't buy both of them. And Silver Screen, which is a true silver color. This color is not as impressive on the skin as it is in the pan. It still has decent pigmentation there. Mac doesn't mention this, but I'm going to try these applied wet so you get even higher intensity there and you avoid the problem of having that dusty quality so there's how to marry next is preferred blonde and silver screen. Next up are the two blushes, which are $22 each. This shade is Legendary, and this one is The Perfect Cheek. Here is Legendary Swatched. This is a pale, soft coral color, and it has a satin finish. This is The Perfect Cheek which is a neutral pink beige and is a matte formula. I'm going to layer this. I can already feel when picking up the product with my fingers in the pan that the formula is pretty dry. Here are the two shades up close. To show you what the color will look like blended out, here is the legendary shade. Applying it with a pretty dense angled blush brush. So the color is quite soft. It's a soft pale coral color. 
I'm going to try to do comparison swatches for you. So here is the color in one layer. Here is the color after two layers. So you get definitely a deeper peach tone. And here's the color after three layers. And even with the first layer, I'm, I'm swatching these pretty heavily. So there is Legendary with one, two, and three layers. Now for the perfect cheek, here is one layer. Again, quite sheer. This is a neutral pinky beige color. Here's two layers. And three layers. That beige tone definitely comes across more predominantly than the pink tone as you layer this shade. So there you have one, two, and three. Next up is the Beauty Powder in Forever Marilyn. And as you can see, it has the same image on the lid. It also has a full-sized mirror and here is the color, which is a sheer pale peach highlighting color. And this is $28. Here is a swatch, very heavy swatch of the shade. And applied with a brush. This color doesn't have so much shimmer in it as opposed to more of just like a lightening effect. It's quite pretty and it's actually noticeable. And it is a beauty powder. MAC discloses that this is a pretty subtle type of product. So you get very finely milled luminizing particles in there. And the formula is quite soft. Next up are the three new lipstick colors. These lipsticks are $16.50 each, and Pure Zen and Scarlet Ibis are re-promoted with this collection. I did reviews for those previously, so if you'd like to see those colors, there are videos on them and there are links in the lipstick review post to those two re-promoted colors. Here is Deeply Adored, Charmed I'm Sure, and Love Goddess. First up is Deeply Adored, which is a matte formula and is a deep scarlet color. Fantastic pigmentation and a very opaque layer. Charmed, I'm sure, also a matte formula and a dark true red color. Again, intense color and an opaque layer, and Love Goddess, which is a satin formula. So it has more of a glossy sheen to it, and this is a mid-tone red-pink shade. So to compare, I would definitely say that this middle color, Charmed, I'm sure, is more of a true blue-based red color. This deeply adored shade is more of a brick-toned, deeper red shade. And then Love Goddess has pink tones to it, so it's a pinky red. And last up is the Dazzle Glass, and this is the packaging, same as for the lipsticks. There's an inner box that slides out, and the picture of Marilyn on the side. Here is the tube packaging. And as with all Dazzle glasses, you get a doe foot applicator. This is the only new shade, and it's called Love Rock. The other shade is Fifth, but that is also a re-promoted color. Again, if you want to see swatches and photos of that color, 
It is in the Dazzle Glass posts for the Marilyn Monroe collection. Love Rock is a soft, sheer, white, pearlized pigments. So it's an almost clear shade. It does have a paling effect due to the sheer white tone to it, and then it has silver or, I guess, pale silver shimmers in it. So there you have Max Marilyn Monroe collection. In terms of my initial impressions of the quality of the products for the eyeshadows, I was very glad that the colors were pigmented and they have good color payoff. I will say that the formula is a little dusty. In application, you will get some fallout. If you want to avoid that and get a more hassle-free application, I would suggest applying them wet. For the powder blushes, I wish the formula were a little softer. They are pretty stiff and dry in the pan, and they will go on quite sheer unless you put on at least three layers, I would say. And in the swatches, even with just a single layer, I used a slightly heavy hand, so just keep that in mind. The beauty powder, I am relieved to say is beautiful and noticeable on the skin. We've had problems before with some beauty powders from MAC that just didn't really do anything. Um, this one you can see on the skin, it is noticeable. The particles are very, very fine and smooth, so instead of getting a glittery effect or a shimmery effect, you get a more refined, luminizing effect on the skin. The Dazzle Glass, Eh, I've never really been a fan of the Dazzle Gloss formula. I find it kind of thick. This is a pretty standard, clear, slightly pale white shade with a lot of silver shimmer particles. I don't think it's that unique of a shade. You also get very, very little product, and you're paying more money than even a normal Dazzle Gloss because of the limited edition packaging. So... Personally, I would probably pass on the Dazzle Glass, and I think the most impressive part of this collection is definitely the lipsticks. They all go on very smoothly, they have fantastic pigmentation, and they give really opaque color, all three of them. So definitely check out the lipsticks from this collection. Alright, I really hope you enjoyed looking at this collection with me. Let me know your thoughts. This is a collection where MAC really could have just disappointed a lot of consumers. I don't think it's the best collection that MAC has had, so I wouldn't say that this is like some mind-blowing assemblance of products and colors, but I think it does a very decent job of living up to the huge icon that is Marilyn Monroe. Once again, please let me know if you have any thoughts about this collection or these colors in the comments below or at AllureBeauty.com. You can also check out the L'Oreal Project Runway collection video that I have posted. I got requests to do that, so that has been added to the list of videos for you to see. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I will see you in the next one.